This is really cool. It's mm -hmm. something that hasn't been seen in 50,000 years and it is set to light up the night sky. Yeah, we're talking about a rare green comet set to make its closest approach to Earth since the Stone Age. Brandon Rue live tonight for us at the Cranbrook Institute of Science. So Brandon, how can we check it out? Well, we've got the clear skies. Unfortunately, we also have the coldest air of the season, which could be a deterrent, but this is not our only opportunity for viewing. We came to the Cranbrook Institute of Science and learned that the green comet is green due to a chemical reaction between the sun and the comet's head. We also learned other helpful hints and tips. Its scientific name, Comet 2022E3 ZTF, may lack mass appeal. This is an interesting comet, the Green Comet. Michael Narlock at Cranbrook Institute of Science in Bloomfield Hill says the Green Comet was discovered less than a year ago, but now is the time, sky watchers. Estimates are that it has an orbital period of tens of thousands of years. Uh, so this is it. Narlock suggests viewing this once in a lifetime heavenly highlight from a dark sky 20 to 30 miles from any city lights. Even there, our nearly full moon won't help. You will have the moon's light um, impacting your ability to see, but you may luck out. Because astronomers say comets are like cats. They have tails and do whatever they want. You're going to want to look between uh, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper and a little bit up. Take your North Star, take this first star on the Big Dipper, and it's going to form a nice triangle tonight with the comet. Here's a tip to use averted vision, which helps our less than stellar night vision. You don't look right at the thing you're looking for in a dark sky. You sort of like look over here and then out of the corner of your eye using your peripheral vision, you'll be able to see it. Use binoculars or a low powered telescope. And even then, the green comet may only appear to you as a fuzzy smudge. Just know others may see much more. Maybe down the road, 10, 15 years, the thing that came from the sky tonight is something that inspires them to do great things in the future. The green comet will be visible for another few weeks. The Cranbrook Observatory is open every Friday night, 7.30 to 10. And on February 10th, Friday nights, the comet will be passing by Mars, the red planet, the green comet, ladies, uh, celestial Christmas that you can see here. We're live from the Cranbrook Institute of Science. I'm Brandon Rue. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Brandon.